Vikings in front of another sellout crowd here at Hilton Coliseum. Another celebration of Hilton magic and also a celebration tonight of the man who created it. Uh, the great, incomparable Johnny Orr, who we lost today and heavy hearts certainly, but also many smiles in Hilton Coliseum tonight as we have fond memories of the man who meant as much to Iowa State University as anybody, if not more, in the, in the history of athletics at this university. And there were so many great victories, so many great moments. None of the victories more special than his win over Michigan in the 1986 NCAA tournament. And we have a couple of moments of that call with Pete Taylor and Eric Haft on the call. Iowa State's Hornacek will inbound here at 64-63. Jeff having trouble, gets it to Elmer for a breakaway, and he slam dumps it, a two-hand dunk. Oh, what a play, inbounding the ball. Hornacek having trouble getting the ball inbounds. And Elmer cut to the basket, a sharp pass, and it had to be crisp to Elmer. He took it in, and I mean, jammed it home. I'll tell you, Johnny Orr has more inbounds plays, and his assistants, let's give them credit too, than any other team I've seen in the country that they can score off of. It's amazing what they can come up with. It's 72-67. Guard Thompson, no good. Rebound Rice. He puts it up and through. Two seconds. One second. Iowa State's on the way to the final 16 in the country. 72-69 over the fifth-ranked Michigan Wolverines. Man, I tell you what, this is a great day for Cyclone basketball. The Cyclones are savoring this moment at the center of the court. 72-69. Iowa State has knocked off the fifth-ranked Wolverines, the number two seed in the Midwest. And Iowa State's going back to Kemper Arena next week. How about those apples? <laughs> Well, one of the great victories uh, by one of the great coaches that we've ever had at Iowa State and joined courtside by Eric Heft right now. And Eric, it's hard to put into words what Johnny Orr meant to Iowa Staters. No question. Uh, he was uh, a terrific coach, a great friend, uh, a great, larger than life. I mean, he his picture should be right by that uh, term in the dictionary. He was unbelievable. A program that was in the doldrums and just really on life support just not a lot of excitement what he brought to it uh what he brought to the state of iowa his personality uh, it wasn't always about the wins and the losses it was about johnny uh, being johnny and you know there are very few people in life that you'll run across and every time you see that person uh you don't feel better and johnny johnny was one of those guys he warmed the hearts of so many people who who he'd never met before and the excitement you know in a cold iowa winter uh, that was created here at Hilton Coliseum. Uh, got a lot of people through some cold winters. Yes, and, he did. And uh, one of the best, one of the best ever. I'm uh, so blessed to have worked with uh, with Johnny, uh, broadcasting his games with Pete. You know, and certainly you got to do a lot with Johnny too. Yeah. Uh, man, like I've said before, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. You know, I worked all those years with Pete. Now I work with you and be able to be around Johnny. Uh, just can't ask for much more than that. Oh, and it's, it's just we're so thankful that uh, that he was back for that Michigan game and the great celebration that day. And of all the things Johnny brought to Iowa State, none was more important than the great players that he brought. And one of those players was Fred Hoiberg. And we're going to come back and visit with him on the Applebee's Coaches Corner. This is the Cyclone Network from Learfield Sports. as Iowa State gets ready to take on Northern Illinois tonight. And uh, Coach will certainly talk about the game here in the next segment. But uh, to open with, we, uh, we remember one of the uh, truly tremendous people that we both had the privilege of knowing and somebody who touched so many lives um, in basketball and outside of basketball. But uh, what a great loss for Iowa State today. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been a tough day, uh, John, for all of us to, uh, you know, to, to get through it. You know, I talked to our team about what Johnny Orr meant to, uh, you know, to Iowa State basketball and the reason there's a sellout crowd, uh, you know, the reason they're playing, uh, you know, in a packed house, the reason there's so much excitement is all because of him. And, you know, I just, I told him I'm going to need to help getting through this one. It's, uh, it's been a, a very emotional day. Um, you know, it, it will continue to be so. I found out early this morning and, uh, you know, it's, it's been, it's been tough. Uh, getting through it for all Cyclone fans, for everybody that knew him, uh, you know, but I, th I think mostly the players uh, of the lives that he touched in so many ways. I mean, he was a father figure to all of us, 
And yeah, I know I am, and, and I can bet you, uh, you know, every person that, that uh, had the honor and the privilege of playing for Coach Orr would tell you the same thing, uh, that he made us better people, not just better basketball players, but in the game of life, he made us better people, and that's what it's all about. There's no doubt that tonight there will be some tears. There will also be some laughs. Uh, there will be some smiles. Um, and he had a way of doing that. Have you ever met anybody as charismatic as him that could just light up a room like he did? Well, I think, so. you know, I was reading just through some things today, and, and somebody said that they don't know they ever, anybody that's ever met Coach Orr didn't like him. And, and if they did know somebody that didn't like him, they, they don't want to know that person. And, you know, he just had such a unique way of, uh, of lighting up a room wherever he went. Uh, you know, he was a life of the party. Uh, he spoke his mind. Uh, he, he was honest with everybody that, uh, that that he was around, and people loved him for it. And you know, for, for again, for what he did uh, for Iowa State with coming in here, and this place was averaging about I think 6,000 people uh, before he got the job, and and uh, you know, to bring the program to, to new heights, uh, you know, to make it a national power, to to get people talking about Iowa State basketball. That's all because of Johnny Orr. You know, sometimes in life, uh, timing doesn't work out the way you want it to. And uh, I think that you've got to feel awfully fortunate that you came back to Iowa State as the head coach while Johnny could still enjoy that, uh, that we got the statue put up uh, in Johnny's built in his honor while he could enjoy that. And then uh, just a little over a month ago to bring him back from the Michigan game and you to give up the spotlight and let him walk out on that floor one more time was uh, uh, as touching a moment as I've seen in Hilton Coliseum. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you, John. And, you know, I, I had two things I'll, I'll, I'll remember this past year. One, uh, you know, Jim Hallahan runs a golf event for the Iowa games every year, and, and he asked Coach Orr and I to play, and I was able to ride around in a golf cart with him for, for five or six hours. And it just it typical Johnny just went around and told stories and made everybody laugh. It was the only time he played golf this year, and, and we won the event. <clears throat> you know, I, I don't think either of us were at the height of our games uh, this year, and, and certainly Hallahan wasn't, and Jack Prey was, was our fourth. So, you know, we found a way to win that, and that was a special moment. And then, like you said, to, to have him back here for that Michigan game, you know, a, a, a two schools where he's the all-time winningest coach, and, and that's a Big Ten and a Big 12 school. That's an unbelievable accomplishment. Uh, you know, and to, and to be there and to witness it and to walk out with him uh, and to see him just light up. Uh, I know how special a moment that was for him and, and certainly for his family as well.